Welcome to my designer class. My name is Mercy and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap on the bell for notifications. Today's tutorial features the sweet petal palette. And I have gone ahead and prepared um, some cards ready to assemble, but at first I wanted to show you some finished cards. Um, I really enjoy this suite and I hope you enjoy. Um, right now we are going to assemble the one with the Calypso Coral. So I'll set this aside. Getting started, um, for the Calypso Coral I cut the card stock to five and a quarter by four. The pool party is cut to five by three and three fourths. I also ran it through the embossing folder which is the basket weave embossing folder. Um, I went ahead and gold embossed, stamped and gold embossed all the pieces that we're going to be using today. And I think it's really pretty, the um, colors with the gold. Um, I will show a few of the techniques and then I will move on to um, the finished like all of it will be colored, etc., to save time. Okay, so to start off, this is a planter box, and I wanted to show how to create this little planter box. It's actually pretty straightforward, and what I have done here is I um, cut a piece of cardstock three and a half by one and three fourths, and then I have scored, and to score, I will quickly demonstrate that. Here is my paper, and where did I put that, Dima? That little uh, straight, oh, okay, well, I actually, I can't find the one piece I thought I had ready. So we'll just, I'll just demonstrate with it. So what I did was I lined it up at one and a half, right here, I scored it, then I turned it around, and I lined it up at one and an eighth and then I scored again right here. So the next step would be um, marking it off to um, before you know cutting the diagonal line. So what I did is I used the millimeter portion. I tried using the half but it actually was cut off too much. So I just measured here and then I measured down here and then I measured and then here and then I use my paper trimmer and just cut here, or you could just use scissors. So it was really pretty straightforward. And the next step would be I um, sponged it. So I will go ahead and demonstrate that. And I also used a little um, sponge dauber to do this. But this is pretty simple. I, I think it just adds more definition. And you can see it, it shows up better. So that's the top part you actually won't even see in the finished card, so I didn't bother doing anything special with that. So here we go. And again, a lot of this is covered up, so you don't really notice, but I just want to um, kind of highlight where these lines are and make it a little bit more obvious. Okay, setting that aside. I will show you the next part, which, ta-da, is pre-assembled. And I will just um, go ahead and adhere this little planter box down here so you can see how that works. I, I have my tear tape, and I, I do like using a little bit of that just so that oh, it definitely has a better chance of staying in place. I am using the snail. There, I got it going. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting it going. It can kind of be a little tricky that way. Anyhow, I, and I will use a small piece of the tear tape just to make sure it doesn't come loose at all because that would not be good. Okay, and I will put it here. Now, you can use two different sentiments here with this card. 
Um, I really like the from the heart, but it also works well to put it as a thank you card. So I have one that already says from the heart and I will just go ahead at this one. And you can see I goofed here, but I just flipped it over. <laughs> you never see that when it's in place. With the stamping. All right, I will just put this on real quick. And just make sure it's centered and you aren't over going over here. All right, that is that. And next I will demonstrate how to do the coloring. Now, it's very important to first color the green, the with olive green, the blends I'm using, because it's super easy to get confused and color some of the color of the rose into the flower just because the way the layout is. I don't know if you can really see that. It is, um, kind of tricky here. It's just the design of this is kind of, so anyhow, I did not use two colors for the olive green on this card. I didn't think it was particularly necessary, but I did definitely use both blends for the Calypso coral. So I wanted to show real quick one of these and what I considered what made it much more interesting, which was using creating low lights in the center of each rose petal. So I'm just quickly coloring in, and this part is really super fast. This is a very easy set to color. Um, the flowers are super easy and straightforward, as long as you color the leaves first, I have found. And I made a couple mistakes, which is very frustrating if you've spent the time embossing die cutting and then to mess it up. So this part I am creating low lights and I'm just kind of randomly putting in and it seems really kind of wild right now and too obvious, but when you blend it, that's when the really the magic happens and it just looks really cool and dimensional compared to just the flat color. So oh, yeah. Oh, I do like using the nubby side for the blending, as you can see. And when I'm adding the high, low lights, I should say, not highlights. <laughs> I want to say highlights, but it's really creating contrast with, by adding the dark color in the center of each petal. So once you blend this, it still looks kind of too bright, but I have found that like if you give it five, 10 minutes, it completely blends kind of even on its own. But coloring back over with the light Calypso coral is definitely a must. And as far as like the bird, that, that's also pretty straightforward. What I did here was create a robin, or at least my version of a robin. And I just colored the light right away here and then I came back with the dark and added just a teeny bit here. And then once again, I blended. And this time I just used the brush side. You could use the nubby side, but I found this created a really nice effect by using both colors. And as far as like the, um, the rest of the body, again, super simple. I'm starting off with the light and I'm just coloring all the rest of the areas that are white, essentially. I'm not worrying about the black, but if I do get a little bit of the color into the black, it really doesn't seem to show that much. So again, a forgiving set and so pretty and elegant. I really have enjoyed this, playing with this set and creating cards with it. Okay, so I will set this aside and show you the next part, which is really crucial, and that's um, assembling the flowers together, creating the bouquet. So what you wanna do is what, I consider this a bud, and I don't know if everyone does, but for the sake of the video to explain it, have one bud up the left side, the right side have the bud down, then place these cards, I'm gonna set this aside so you can see this, 
and interlock them. The next important step would be to add the additional branch in here because otherwise it looks kind of weird because of this petal over here being too high up. So what I do, what I did was I flipped it over and I added some tear tape just to hold it in place before I put it back over. I don't like seeing any white space right here. So one of the things you can do, which I have done, would be to add a little of the very vanilla cardstock here just to make sure that it doesn't show through. Now, I am not 100% certain I'm going to like the um, way it looks when I flip it back over because sometimes it shifts. So I'm going to be kind of careful and not to add my dimensionals yet just so that we can be feel like it looks like a satisfactory layout. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down and it, and it actually looks pretty good. So you can see here we got a little bit of white, but it's not too bad. And so I will quickly, I'm satisfied with it. I will quickly take the backings off and I will add my dimensionals to the card so that it pops it up and it looks so 3D, it's absolutely beautiful. I think this card is really special. It would be great anniversary card, thank you note, um, a lot of different occasions, what, depending on what sentiment you put on the front. And this particular set has so many beautiful sentiments included that it's very versatile, which I will show again. Okay, so that's how the, I'm just gonna quickly take these off so that you, we can attach it real quick and you can see how that looks and then we'll add the bird. The real time consuming part about this is actually doing all the coloring, but to me that's also the part that I enjoy the most. So it just depends on the way you look at it. I just pardon my head if you see it. Okay, so there we have the flowers, the bouquet, the double bouquet attached, which is pretty seamless. It looks like a planter box, I think. And next, I'm just gonna add the bird, and I did not pop up the bird. It's already on a lot with the um, branch and everything, so I didn't feel like it needed it. So I need to just, Okay, so the bird, you want it, him kind of looking like he's, or she, I don't know if it's him or she, but, so it's looking like it's on a branch. I think if you have it too free floating, it looks kind of weird. So I think that looks good. And next I will add the pearls. And I hope you've enjoyed getting to see how I made this card and you will give it a try. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe, of course. I just love the elegant look of the pearls added. I think that's really, so there is the card that we just assembled. And I think it's really pretty. I did wanna show a few of the other things, the sentiments that are offered in this particular set. It says, for everything, congratulations from the heart. I just love you. That would be a nice anniversary. Um, card. Thank you. And of course, these are larger ones, which wouldn't work quite with this particular layout. And so um, anyhow, thank you for watching my tutorial. I would love to earn your business. Please follow me and um, check out my online store. Happy stamping and thanks again for watching.